Good evening. I'd like to call the uh, December 21st, 2017, regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District trustees to order. The roll call. Uh, Judy Cavallaro. Present. Joe Carroll. Present. Dr. Strauss. Here. And Viola. Here. Jason Greenman. Here. Enrico is absent due to illness. I'm Charles Anderson. Uh, next item is approval of minutes of the November 16, 2017 budget workshop. Move approval. Move for a second. 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 Uh, any corrections or errors or omissions to any? Good. Give me all in favor of the motion. Abstention. Uh, none opposed, one abstention. Okay, the November 16th, 2017, regular monthly meeting minutes. Move we'll approval. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jason? Yes. Uh, any corrections, errors, or omissions to know?
I've also attached a correspondence with the resident of 193 Plant Point Road. Uh, there, were, there are two emails trains, one between Matt Hyde and one with myself. Um, the last order complaint that I received from Mr. Chief was on November 27th. Glenn and I responded. Glenn did not detect any odor. I detected a faint odor on two or three occasions, neither of which I would have associated with the sewer. Also, neither our instantaneous H2S reading on or the H2S odor log detected any significant concentration of H2S on the um, on the 29th, they also reached out to Amy Taylor, Amy Taylor, I'm sorry, at Blue Point School. She got back to me on um, the 1st and stated that she did not have any reports of sewer order at the school. Uh, this past Monday, I believe it was, she did send me an a, a email saying there was a very faint odor at the, um, at the school. We did go out there and again, detect anything outside and around the grounds, nor did we had the odor logger in uh, measuring upstream from that, which detected nothing, and we took the instantaneous readings of the mammals at and around the, uh, the school and we detected the uh, Ready Seafood has made great strides in moving uh, to install a treatment system. Uh, they have already installed additional screening and hired an engineer, completed preliminary and design, and currently, uh, well, actually, I spoke to them this morning. They have, uh, uh, they have gotten their bids in for the installation of the equipment and uh, have hired the contractor. The equipment is now on order. So, they're uh, moving quite rapidly on that. Uh, and Wooden Kern is actively working on the design for the OD control system. Anticipates happening actively by the end of January. I actually met with them on site now. This morning, on the This would be the liquid oxygen in the injection system. Got it. So I got the snow scanning the road. And and then uh, once once we have the design the completed design in hand and reviewed and we're satisfied with it. And finally, with regard to the Iris Drive and Primrose Lane neighborhood, I have not received any other complaints since I've been here on the 26th from that area. So.
Overall, the proposed budget reflects a total decrease for capital expenditures of $10,421 from the 2017 budget, which translates to a 0.32% decrease. The operating budget, including capital expenditures funded through operations revenue, is down $45,421. Total budget, including capital expenditures, is three million six hundred eighty thousand four hundred ninety-seven thousand up eighty-four thousand five hundred seventy-nine dollars from the twenty seventeen budget. Yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's worth noting and emphasizing that in our in our budget workshop uh, we went through every line item in detail. And the superintendent responded to and addressed all the questions that the trustees posed at that meeting. Uh, I think the increase in the operating budget of 1.36% in this time is, uh, is a good job. And that the 2.35% increase basically is a result of our capital improvement program funding, uh, which is necessary for us to keep up with rejuvenating the system as it ages. So I think it's a very responsible version. The superintendent did a great job in going into that. Any questions or comments about the budget? Good, 
a, good, a tremendous employee in the Scarborough Sanitary District. So I'd like to thank you again for your time and your service. Again, and and great hope you keep it up. I appreciate that. All right. The other option was the collection systems, and I don't think I'd be around today if I took that. Oh, really? Okay. So we're going to be called. Well, it's a little back break. All right. So anything you want to say? No. Well, thank you all very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. We appreciate it.
Is there a second to that motion? Second. Okay, well, all in favor? None opposed. Okay, we'll call that item F under new business. Set the superintendent's salary.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.